troubleshooting common scissor lift faults, collating pothole protection alarm. The pothole protection device prevents the scissor lift from overturning in extreme working conditions. Failure of device may lead to serious accidents. When a code 18 pothole protection device alarm occurs, the fault must be dealt with immediately. Any operation is forbidden until the malfunction is eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will take the GTJZ1012 machine as an example to introduce troubleshooting in the case of a code 18 pothole protection device alarm. Fault code 18 indicates a problem with the pothole protection system with three processing steps for troubleshooting. Step 1. Check the pothole protection device for mechanical jams. Step 2. Check if there is any problem with the down limit travel switch. Step 3. Check if there is any problem with the pothole protection device travel switch. First, prepare the necessary tools as follows. Multimeter, screwdriver, wrench. Prepare the necessary accessories as follows. Ejector pin, gas brain, down limit travel switch. Pothole protection device travel switch. To deal with faults, step one: check the pothole protection device for mechanical jams. Mechanical jams generally have the following three conditions. One. Uneven ground leads to the failure to fully open the protective plate. At this time, foreign bodies under the protection plate should be removed or the machine should be driven to a flat area. 2. Failure of the gas spring will also result in the pothole protection plate not being fully opened. If the gas spring falls, it is necessary to replace the gas spring fitting. 3. Stalling of the ejector pin and other structures can also cause the pothole protection plate not to open completely. If the ejector is damaged, it is necessary to replace the ejector fittings. If troubleshooting for mechanical jams has been followed and the problem still exists, judge the subsequent treatment according to the faults. If the alarm persists, and the scissor is in the lowered position and cannot be raised at all. The following step should be carried out. Step 2. Check if there is any problem with the down limit travel switch. Check the installation position of the switch to see if there is any jam or positioning error. If yes, use tools to fix it. Use a screwdriver to open the down limit switch panel. Use a multimeter to detect the on or off status of the switch in different positions. Check the ECU plug. If the multimeter shows no changes, it can be confirmed that the switch has been damaged. A new switch is needed. If the fault aiding alarm only occurs after the scissor is raised for working, the following steps should be taken. Step 3. Check if there is any problem with the pothole protection device travel switch. Use a multimeter to detect the on or off status of the switch in different positions. Check the ECU plug. If the multimeter shows no changes, it can be confirmed that the switch has been damaged. Open the switch panel of pothole protection device with a screwdriver and replace the switch accessories. Check the ECU plug again and make sure that the cable between the switch and the ECU is connected normally. By following the above three steps, the scissor lift should be recovered. The platform can be raised normally. 
the faults are eliminated. The screen no longer displays the alarm. Now it is safe to operate the equipment. If you have any questions, please call our hotline plus 86-400-6081-289 service hotline or visit Sinoboom.com for more information. Sinoboom, always for better access solutions.